Hello Taurus, Elsie here with your reading for the week ahead. How are you, my bull gang? Thank you so much for clicking here. I appreciate you already. If you're a new Taurus and you slid in the side door over the last little bit, welcome, welcome. And um, I hope that you'll allow us to notice you in the uh, commenting section. We like to talk, to talk to each other here. We are getting to know each other a little bit. We're kind of a bit of a community. So thank you for doing that if you're interested. But, you know, just exchange some energy with me in a certain way. Like I just need to feel your energy in order to be able to do these readings. So thank you for doing that. And um, here we are. Yeah, we're just going to use some oracles as per the usual. We're just going to throw some oracles down. Um, I like to confuse the energies a little bit and change up the decks, but because um, I'm all about that. All about that. All right, here we go. If you are interested in a private reading, Taurus, please look below in the description. Everything you need is there. All the pricing is also over at Wizio. Here we go. Tell me about Taurus for the week ahead, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is for Taurus. And if you're cross-watching, thank you so much. Here we go. All right. Oh, there we go. All right. I was going to take two. Wow. That's not bad at all. Look at this. Ooh, there's a leadership change. Someone is about to get a either a job they applied for or a promotion. There's a leadership change here. I mean, yeah, that's what it feels like. It feels like you knew it too. Like you you knew that was like you killed that interview or you had exceptional rapport with the people you're speaking with. Um, leadership, don't make no mistake about it, can also be in a relationship. We are dealing in feminine, masculine energies. And when they're balanced, it's a really great balance of leadership when you have two leadership signs that are listening intuitively and energetically. So I feel like there's a change in leadership, regardless of what it's from or how it comes about. It pulls you out in front of the pack here, I think. That's why you got this job, or that's why this person noticed you in terms of r romance, if that's what you're looking at. It does feel like a promotion or like things in your life are about to get better. Um, and you are about to find some leadership or people are going to make you the leader or some of something. Um, so there are some big changes coming here. And I think it's in how you per how you see yourself, I think is the biggest thing here because this one's pulling out in front of the pack. In fact, going the complete opposite way, it looks like, of all the other birds. Um, the opposite way, uh, Taurus. Your sign that is opposite on the zodiac, in the zodiac, is Scorpio. So we could be talking about Scorpio energy because this bird is flying this way and flying away from the pack. And it feels like they're doing the opposite thing. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that. Okay. All right, all right. So there's a leadership change here. And, um, you know, take it as it resonates. Leadership does come up as it pertains to relationships. Right? It's the dance of the, of the balancing of the fem feminine and the masculine energy. The two of those, right? All right. We've got joy. We've also got loyalty. So we have joy. And it says, You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. This does look like a, a horse at the carnival. <coughs> Pardon me if I'm being honest. It looks like a, a carousel horse, right? <laughs> yeah. And it says here that you bring a fun spirit to everything that you do. I think there's about to be a change that's going to be really fun and loyalty. It says you, um, your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. Wow. You know, that's, that's us, right? That's Taurus. That's why the card is green and blue because blue rules uh, blue throat the sh is the throat chakra which rules Taurus. Again, it says loyalty. Your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. You're solid, right? And it doesn't matter what the situation is, you're going to be solid and reliable. 
loyalty it says here that's what Taurus is is loyal I feel like you're going to have this change in leadership that is going to give you joy what I want to say is about the leadership that it could be something you've forgotten about you forgot you applied for that job or you forgot you met that person back there but the leadership card to me with the polar bear on it tells me that somebody never dropped the scent so you always wanted this change or you've been wishing and hoping for this change or asking the universe for it and here it comes it feels like it's coming to it's like it's coming back because it's got your scent you know what i mean like the changes are coming to you because of the leadership so this could be a leader that's coming to you someone who never dropped the scent <laughs> or it could be the other way around we could be talking about you We've got uh, present. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your uh, current circumstances. So know that you can. Know that you can for sure. All right. Throw Moonology on the end. See what's up. Tell me about Taurus for the week ahead, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This leadership change energy here is giving me incredible... Um, uh, incredibly happy change. <laughs> Third eye is open, and we've got um, pink, which is the the um, the crown chakra, right? So there's there's all sorts of things that are changing. You're seeing things clearer as things are changing. It feels like you're catching up with something, or something is catching up with you. Like when I say catching up with you, like maybe you. You feel like you've been overdue for the raise, you might get the raise. If you feel like you've been passed over at work, you might get the job you applied for. Um, yeah. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Yeah, Scorpio would just would just go through those fears. I mean, it's, you know, we all get scared. We're all terrified at some point to do something. It doesn't mean we shouldn't do it. It means we should do it scared or tired or hungry or if we really want that thing we're gonna do it so i feel it's almost i want to say like a foreboding joy it's almost like i'm speaking to someone who has never experienced joy who doesn't really understand the power of joy like i'm not talking being happy i'm not talking happy because you got a lot of money or a big house or four cars that's not what i'm talking about this kind of joy comes from hard work on the self your leadership, the way things are changing in your life because you will it to be so, the universe is communicating with you. It's that kind of joy. It's the joy of balance and the joy of seeing things for what they really are. And so what you realize is although it feels like fear, I don't think it is. Well, it says you do have to work through your fears, but I feel like change for you can feel like fear because you don't like change you're a fixed sign show the world the real you full moon in aquarius i love that card <laughs> yep i always see somebody um what i usually see charlie gives me somebody on a horse a horse that's very adorned and they are sort of trotting through town and people are coming up around them i guess it maybe in my head it looks a little bit like the six of wands but I feel like show the world the real you is because you actually just let them have it. You let them know what's up, right? <laughs> the full moon in Aquarius. That's what Aquarius energy did around the full moon, right? Around the beginning of the month. If you were giving people tongue lashings or cutting people out or making decisions, I'm not going to let that happen again and shutting the door. That would have been the Aquarius energy you felt in the full moon. All right. Stop talking, Elsie, so we can read a little more. Let's do that. Let's figure it out, Taurus. Let's throw some tarot at it and see what's going on. Look, Taurus, the truth is this, right? We got retrograde on our heels. <laughs> Virgo season is here on the 23rd tomorrow, right? And um, we're going to be full on in full on retrograde in both Venus and Mercury. All right, all kinds of stuff this month. Tell me more about Taurus, please. Someone rising, Venus and Jupiter. We've got the moon energy. It comes out on its side, which we won't ignore, is a challenge, right? And um, you may have, you may be coming up, you may be coming out of 
a, um, a challenging time in your life, right? Because the challenge is the moon. Trying to keep st stable and steady and trying to... Um, yeah it it almost feels like it's it's like you have to shut down a part of you in order to be in this leadership like there's something that you must hide or something they don't respect about you if it should come out i don't know what that is it could be anything i mean really it could be anything depending on what's going on in your life right now but it feels like the leadership le leadership is the change <laughs> and we're already like Mercury retrograde is right here, and I, oh, I can't speak already. <laughs> okay, so the moon, right? Um, for some of you, maybe it's that you don't see that this leader, leadership position is coming. And um, for others of you, I feel it's almost as if you have to make some great big changes and maybe push a few things down if you want to have this leadership position. It almost feels like darkness becomes joy. Almost because, I want to say almost because it is requested of you, but once you start practicing it over and over again, I feel like it just becomes part of your everyday. The Knight of Cups, we get the Five of Swords and the Three of Swords. Ooh, look what's changing. Look at that. Knight of Cups, right? So uh, it feels like that... You know, all probably the last week or two at least, we've been talking heavy duty about you guys getting some sort of a message, right? Some of you are going to get a message or somebody's going to reveal their feelings. That's what this energy feels like here. It's going to be a big change in how, um, about the romance in your life, yeah. What's changing is I feel the things that you've been thinking about or the things that you've been getting downloads about or this. I think that you feel that somebody is on the way. But you, maybe this is because you want someone else to take the leadership role. Oh. That could be what the moon is giving me here. Hmm. I want to say that, um, that there has been a change in you. And I'm looking at the Joy card and the Five of Swords has come up. So I think that what it's telling me is you can still say the things that you need to say, Taurus. You don't have to stifle yourself. You don't. You can still tell people they're full of bullshit if they're full of bullshit. You can still do that. But there is a type of way you can do that where people will thank you and shake your hand and be, and, and be glad to see you again the next time. And that is when you're spreading energy of joy, right? I feel like when you come up against the Five of Swords, I feel like you're treating it a different way. And I think that is also expected of you in this leadership change. So whatever it is you're taking the lead on, it's changing the way you, um, you give your energy out to people. I think it's much more positive. You're much more open and willing to listen for, um, you know, feelings in the gut. I think that whatever it is that you're doing, because we have eight swords here, it tells me that it's a, a really big leap of faith. It, it feels like um, uh, the eight swords here are telling me that I, I'm having a hard time making a decision to do that thing because of things, uh, feelings that I might still have from the past. Work through your fears work through the fear of getting hurt again look you're not here to not fall on your nose that's the truth the only way you're getting lessons is when you don't get what you want if you keep getting what you want what lesson is that only one gluttony that's it <laughs> but i feel like um i feel like the you need to work through the fear of what if i get my heart broken or what if that next person hurts me or what if the other person cheats on me well i say to you i think that you have gained some sort of a really great skill that puts you in a leadership position um and this is a recent change or this will be a change in the week ahead but i want to say that there is a, a softer way about you, Taurus, that you've either learned something or had a realization. And it's changing how you deal with people. I feel like it's going to be changing your romantic 
uh, opinions <laughs> very soon. I feel like you have a knight of cups, like an energy of some something coming towards you that's romantic related. There is going to be a change in the romance department for sure. And I feel like you're just being kinder to people. And I, I don't think you're. it's that you're not kind. It's that I think instead of just being in swords, like the five of swords, even when you have to say something to someone that you know you have to say, but you don't really want to, I think the change is this. I feel like whatever whatever is gone on back here for some reason you've got this this leadership that maybe you didn't expect of yourself and didn't know that was there and all of a sudden you have people you know in the five of swords talking to each other in a kinder way or maybe you are I feel like you're teaching through the things that you're learning you're teaching somebody who's watching somebody's always watching I'm telling you so I want to say that you're working through your fears good for you we have the eight of cups on the bottom of the deck Ooh, there's the page of cups queen of pentacles so the um, eight of cups and the page of cups it feels like there is going to be communication from someone who may have pulled away from you Taurus um, even though they knew you were the empress right shown up here is the queen of pentacles very grounded and kind and lovely and doting and all of that so i think that that there is somebody who will be sending a message it will be a message um i believe of an apology from pulling uh, uh, an apology for pulling away and that this person wants to tell you that they're not in this place of chaos anymore so either they're they've moved away from chaotic thoughts or they've actually physically moved um they could tell you that they've moved moved uh further from you or closer to you um the ace of swords is coming there is a a communication that has the um the ability to kind of get tough we're going to talk about it and be very honest and the thing is is that we've got five swords here but at least four of them are about healing right so it feels like um there there is going to be communication here we're going to have a conversation it's going to have to be super honest and maybe a bit cringe at times with the ace of swords but i think we can do it in a healed way if we really try but it has the potential to go off the rails five swords are here which is what's right there right all right all right all right let's clarify a little bit of it for you here taurus Clarify for Taurus, please. What else is going on here? Here we go for Taurus. We have um, the Hermit in Reverse. I like it. Yep. Hermit in Reverse. It feels as though it's, it's time to be seen and be heard. Somebody who has been watching you is now wanting to speak with you i feel somebody who has enough information and the page of swords in the upright is all about you know the the one that's seeking more knowledge pages are young seven to fourteen so they're always trying to find the right way to say something or you know um they're studying studying their language um so this page of swords in the reverse tells me that someone stops digging for information or stops um it has decided to speak now about the things that I figured out here and that that is about to, to make a really big change here with the Knight of Cups. Yep, somebody is about to speak here or break the silence. Tell me more about that. The Magician. The Knight of Cups could be the Magician. The Knight of Cups is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We also have Pisces and Cancer over here. So the magician, somebody who uh, the change is, <laughs> I feel like, first of all, that you've probably manifested the Knight of Cups. You've been manifesting romance or, you know, someone that you can share your time with or, you know, that kind of thing. And I feel like this is what's coming. I feel like the you've also been manifesting joy. You've been manifesting positive things, um, uplifting things. It looks like joy. There's been lots of really good changes here in the way that you think and receive information. You're the alchemist, right? And whatever you want is yours. You just have to really want it and not need it. Because if there's a way that the universe has never given you what you want, it's if the universe thinks you need it. Yeah. If you need to text, if you need the closure, if you need, that's a surefire way to not get what you want. 
because what you want and what you need are two different things. So we have uh, the star and we have the four of swords, which we've already seen right in the bottom of the deck in the future. So that makes a lot of sense. So we have the magician pulling this whole big trick together and nothing behind the glass, nothing behind. <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like. It feels like the, the magician has got like all the tools, right? Yeah, that's what it feels like. It's like you've picked up all the tools and you're like, okay, now I'm going to call in this. Now I'm going to call in that. I feel like you, it almost feels like the Five of Swords was a block and you've overcome a block. The star is here and I feel like it's healed. I feel like if, if this Knight of Cups, if they are someone you've met before, and I don't think, I'm not feeling that for a lot of you, this is someone who wants to speak with you that's been watching you, but I don't think it's someone that you've dated before. I don't think it is. It's like a friend gives a friend your profile and they say, oh yeah, maybe I, I do want to meet that person. Maybe I will reach out to them. Knave of Swords, right? Page of Swords. And I feel like, yeah, I, I feel like you're, you're like, ta-da, look. Yeah. Feels like this. It feels like joy in a conversation that almost when I feel like joy comes up with the five of swords it's it's almost like it has the ability to turn into lack but I feel like we are going to be honest and I don't care if you agree with me or if I agree with you but we're going to do it kindly because I feel that that's part of the lessons that you've learned in this change I think it's it's part of the reason why love is now um, on the horse coming to you because I feel like you've you've had a, a change of mind it feels like we have walk through your fears and your fears are that you're going to get your heart broken see i'll see it always happens three of swords four of swords heartbroken healing heartbroken healing <laughs> it goes back and forth I, though, I feel like in the week ahead that you have this positive outlook on everything. Things are going your way. They're all coming up Taurus. And I think that the star is one of those things. I feel like it's here for healing. So I feel like you are choosing to move through this energy of the Three of Swords. Because I feel like um, it feels like there's something here that has got you obsessively caught up in your head. And I feel like the star is here to say, okay... It's enough of that. We're going to redirect the energy to the universe or we're going to heal this. We're going to we're going to throw a little bit of hope in the midst of these these sort of, you know, negative energy energy cards and we're going to get to the 4 of swords. So, it almost feels like you're at the very end of your healing is what I want to say. For this for this bunch of healing, I want to say that you are so close because the the hermit here is in the reverse. All right. The Knight of Cups is the sun. It could be someone who's Pisces, someone who's, wow, okay. Someone who's Pisces, uh, someone who is uh, the Emperor, Aries, or someone who is Leo. I feel like that the Emperor has finally seen it from your side. And I don't know what that means. So for some of you, it could have been an argument if you already know this person and now they're seeing it from your side. For others of you, it could be that somebody has been looking at your profile because a friend gave it to them. Hey, you should meet my friend. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't really feel like um, it's nostalgic love. There's no six of cups here. It feels like this is somebody who... Um, is coming in to change your romantic life. They're coming in to make conversation. But what I want to say is that there's lots of change here, right? Change is the major arcanas. That's what the change is. The person who I think is on the horse is probably the emperor, someone who's really good at seeing it from another person's point of view because they're psychic, because when the emperor is in the room, so are all the kings, including the king of cups, who is Scorpio and who is psychic. So the, um, the, the Pisces energy here tells me that that the emperor is someone who really is always looking for the other side, like looking looking to see it from both sides. The sun is here. The emperor is bringing clarity. There's going to be no games. You ask me a question, I have an answer. And I think this emperor is going to recognize you as someone who has all the tools already, someone who has who is able to call in whatever they want and who would know that 
get the emperor because the emperor can do the same okay look i'm dribbling on we're gonna go into the extended yeah, we're, we're over time here. So I'm going to go into the extended. We're looking at uh, the Ten of Cups. We're looking at the King of Wands and the Hierophant. It looks like for some of you, you're going to be making a commitment in the very near future. We will talk about that. And um, yeah, there is somebody who's making a decision, a decision to come in and talk to you. Um, the Two of Swords is here. And uh, next to the Two of Swords is the Tower. So that pulls down the Tower. We decide to make a decision. Somebody's reaching out with communication, blah, blah, blah. We always, always hear that every <laughs> reading. But we'll go ahead and clarify that if you want to come into the extended. We will do that. We will work hard. We will. <laughs> could be someone from work it is the eight of pentacles all right i'm gonna go i'll leave a link for you down below thank you so much for loving on me you guys i'm gonna go for now love you bye bye